Brie Larson is the most deluded, self-gratifying person, and that's fine if she wants to do that, I'm not really that bothered. But the outcome is that she's going to destroy Marvel. She will destroy Marvel, and she really started doing it because she's producing interviews where she's arguing with her colleagues, and her colleagues have to whisper to her to try and control her because she's behaving like a little brat. I mean, she's just unbelievable, like this on Instagram. She says, grateful to be activists in arts with you. That's what she sees herself as. She sees herself as an activist, but is she an activist? No, she isn't. She makes a movie called Unicorn Store, which is a terrible movie. It has terrible reviews. She makes Captain Marvel. Yes, Captain Marvel has made a billion dollars. But where does that money go to? Where does that billion dollars go to? That's right, it goes to the male shareholders of Disney. Disney are making money out of a feminist movie for their male shareholders. Captain Marvel is a product designed to make as much money as possible. And on the release day of Captain Marvel, what does Brie Larson do? She tweets about International Women's Day, the charity. Does she link to the website? No. Does she try to discuss what International Women's Day does? No, she just uses it to try and promote her movie. And the money from that movie goes to men. She's bonkers. What planet is this woman living on? She's off her rocker and she needs to understand what she's doing. She argues with her colleagues. Her colleagues have to whisper to an in interviews. She's off her rocker. And then she flies out to fashion shows in China. Now what is the Chinese government doing? That's right, they've locked up a million innocent people and many of them are women. And many of those women are being sent to shoe factories where they're being forced to work as slaves unpaid labour. But Brie Larson sees herself as a great feminist. A feminist would not go out to a country and go to parties in a country that's turning women into slaves. Come on Brie Larson, time to wake up. Time to sit down and actually understand what you are doing. You're making money for men, you're using the International Women's Day charity to promote your movie without linking to the website. You don't even have the decency to discuss what International Women's Day does. You are not an activist. You argue with your colleagues during interviews and they have to whisper to you to try and control you because you're behaving like a brat. You fly out to China, a country that's turning women into slaves, and then you claim you're a feminist. Come on, Brie Larson, it's time to stop. Even that, or Brie Larson is going to destroy Marvel. Every day that goes by, this woman, who doesn't see herself as an act, she sees herself as an activist. That's her role, that's her persona, that she wants you to believe. She sees herself as an activist. That, that's not the role of an actress. She's meant to be the next Scarlett Hansen or the next Chris Hemsworth, a professional actor who's making movies that are there to entertain people, not as an activist. If you inject politics into Marvel, those movies and that franchise will be destroyed. You've already seen it with Star Wars. Star Wars is in bits. And that's going to happen to Marvel because of this woman. And you've really seen it. How unprofessional is she? She sits in between Don Cheadle and Chris Hemsworth, very professional actors, and argues with them and tries to belittle them. And those two actors have to whisper to her to try and control her. Is that what a professional actress does? No. But Brie Larson, because she sees an activist, that's what she does. Now activists, what do they do? Activists go out and they try to make trouble to get publicity to certain issues. And that is what Brie Larson is going to do with Marvel. That's how she's going to destroy Marvel. She's going to go out and try to cause trouble. And that's what she did to Chris Hemsworth. She tried to belittle Chris Hemsworth by telling him that Thor is now less powerful than Captain Marvel and tried to embarrass him. And that is why you can hear Chris Hemsworth whisper to her. And that is what an activist does. An activist tries to go out and cause trouble to change society. But because because Brie Larson is so confused and deluded, she's going to make a mess of it. And she's going to destroy Marvel. And you've already seen it. And as it continues, this woman, day by day, is going to take Marvel into the dumpster. Mark my words, this woman is going to destroy Marvel. If you're a fan of Marvel, you need to get this woman out. Somehow, this woman needs to go. She's not an activist. She wouldn't be working for a company like Disney that pays women less than men. She wouldn't be flying out to China, a country that turns women into slaves. Come on, Brie Larson, time to wake up. You're going to destroy Marvel. You really are.